hello beautiful people welcome back to another amazing video i know i've been away from here for a long time but trust me when i say that i have been productive i was on tv i'm launching my first candle making prep school i'm very excited and it has been really really busy for me but i'm back guys and i'm better and stronger and y'all need to fasten your seat belts that's all i can say just Fasten your seat belts and let's get it on. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this candle that I have kept for a year. As you can see, this is the original candle when I first made it versus now, a year later. And this is what it looks like right now. And that's my label. I get a lot of requests from people wanting to do my labels. Guys, I have my label that I am marvelously in love with, but thanks for the offer anyway. If you sell your candles, if you have make decorative candles, gourmand candles, and your customers keep their candles for like a really long time, you want to watch this video because I have some tips for you to getting your colors to stay stable. So like this video, subscribe if you have not, and let's get straight into it. Royalty in my blood, royalty, I'm a king, but I got it straight out the mud. And I'm a grinder, but it's type down only break up the So guys, this candle has been with me for exactly a year. And I tell you, it is still so beautiful, it is still so fabulous. I'm still loving everything about the candle. Let's start with the most obvious change of all, which is the colours. As you can see, the piping at the top, the color is yellow. It was a bit more yellow than this, but it has faded a little bit, still popping. The sprinkles were, they are actually stronger than they were originally. In the beginning, I couldn't do all of this that I'm doing right now without having sprinkles dropping down everywhere. But right now, they are compact. They've come together so nicely and so tightly. And they still look pretty, but the colors are faded. You can tell that they were pink, yellow, orange, green, blue colors here. They're just faded. Some of them don't even have any color whatsoever. They look gray, but the colors have faded. If you are selling your candles to customers who keep their candles over a long period of time, you should consider getting yourself some color stabilizers. Include some color stabilizers in your candle. That would help your candle to keep its color, to retain its color even in light. You know you're not supposed to keep your candles in exposure, in light, like natural sunlight or fluorescent. And this candle has not been exposed to light for the whole period of one year. It has been in my closet in the dark. So um, it has quite, it has faded quite a bit. And I'm wondering how soon it would have faded if it was out in the light instead of in the dark. So a period of one year and it has still managed to keep some colors on. I'm quite impressed. Now let's move on to the second damage which is the piping shrinkage so over here at the top is the piped wax and um it has shrunk because it was full it was round it was everywhere but right now it has shrunk and there's space in between so it's just smaller even the contents of the jar look crinkled look pulled away from the jar and it is still beautiful but Take note that if you keep your candles over a long period of time, the wax will shrink. I don't know about anyone else, but over here right now holding this candle, I can tell you that the wax has shrunk. The next change is that everything inside the jar has blended and unified into one color. I have slices of bananas in here, as you can see. Here's one banana, here's another one. And down here is another one these bananas had tiny dots tiny black seeds and two of them have their seeds disappeared while the last one the seed has discolored the black has turned green so that's something you want to consider not only will your candle change color over time not only will it fade the candle can actually change it can become a different color because you know some of these colors are combined to produce a different color like blue and yellow are combined to produce green sometimes and sometimes multiple colors are put together to produce brown and black and here i had black seeds so the black has actually turned green in here so that's something to take note of that over time the color will change it will fade or it will just 
you know this color and then the last and final thing i want to make re reference to is the scent of this candle the cold throw was so amazing in the beginning that you walk into my home and the whole house is smelling of banana even while it was in the closet but right now i have to bring it up to my nose like this close to actually smell the banana i'm very curious as to how the heat throw would do how the hot throw would do because the cold throw is like i would rate it a 50 percent compared to the beginning it is still nice it is still beautiful it's a banana and not scent but it is not as strong as it was initially so i'm looking forward to the hot throw because i know that when candles stay long over a period of time the hot throw gets better the longer it sits so i'm very curious as to what the hot throw would be like and if you would like to know what that hot throw would be like watch out for my next video because i would posting a time lapse of this candle burning down to the very bottom and i would review the hot throw so guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to like make sure to subscribe stay tuned for the next episode and make sure to get yourself some color stabilizers because i do know that a lot of customers like to keep their candles because sometimes they are so beautiful to burn you're literally setting your money on fire so a lot of customers like to keep their candles especially when it's beautiful like this one so get yourself some color stabilizers to maintain that beautiful color if you learned something from this video and you are not subscribed hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video love you bye